Good morning. It's Monday. Um, this is what the campsite is looking after how we slept last night. There was a few times last night I was worried about the river because I think even now the bank, like it's it's really quite full. Like that's it right there, and it's like all the way up to the bank. So I was a bit a bit worried about that. Um, we were gonna camp there, and I'm glad we didn't because that's where we we're gonna put our swag, and that's just a big old mud pile now. I'm glad that we managed to get on the sand for tonight. But like you can see, like it's all just water out there. If we camped anywhere else, I think we would have sunk into the ground. But but doesn't want to get up. Hello. Get up. I'm coming. We've got things to do today. I'm coming. Okay. We're gonna go to parks today. We're gonna just have a big touristy day. So we're gonna go see the big dish. And then, the what up? Mine in Peak Hill. Mine in Peak Hill. The gold mine in Peak Hill is we're gonna we're gonna go look at that as well. It's free entry, so that'll be cool. Maybe we'll find some gold. I don't know. Yeah. What do you have to say for Bert's morning moan? Uh, I'm worried about driving back across the ford because it's more the river's more full than it was. Oh, I saw a, I, sorry, I saw a, <laughs> sorry, I saw a ranger drive across there earlier today. Oh, he's right here, yeah, this car, this car here. <laughs> yeah, he just came across it that way this morning, so I think it's fine to drive across. So it left literally just in time. It started bucketing down now, which you can barely even see. Oh my god. Roadwork ahead. Sure hope it does. Um, oh, the rain kind of calmed down. That's nice. Yeah. Ten mile creek. And the floodways. It's not even flooded. Yeah, it's this not is even more flooded flood. yesterday when it was raining less. Yeah. That's crazy. Nice. We just got here to the big dish. So the park's observate radio telescope. Radio tele telescope. Look at that. Look at the size of that thing. All right. I'm so excited. Oh, there's a little tiny one in the garden over there. Aw, that's cute. Moving. I don't know if you guys can see. We can hear it just a little bit, but it's moving. I wonder why they're moving it. Pointing somewhere else. Pointing somewhere else. Anyway, this is the layout. And I guess we'll just start here. Yeah, with the mini one. No. Here it is, the dish in all its glory. Look how big that thing is. What's this? Is this a crashed spacecraft or something? <laughs> this is a thing at the end of all the three um, I don't know, towers. Right. Go out into the middle of oh, it. yeah, I do. Like the focal point. Yeah. Ah, that's the old one of this, the old receiver cabin. Not a safe a spacecraft. See, other people thought it was a spacecraft as well. That's pretty cool. That's massive, isn't it? Um, so that was parts in the dish. We were going to go to the Peak Hill Gold Mine, but it actually looked kind of boring. Like it was just a self-guided tour, and there was just like a couple of billboards at the front, just like saying what was going on. And you literally just like walk down for a couple of k, just exploring the mine yourself. Um, it didn't look very interesting though, so we decided not to go there. Um, just come back from parks. We've decided on Maccas for breakfast because like it's cheap and it's easy to get through, and we don't have much time to spare either. Um, and where are we headed to today? Hey. Hey, we're gonna get a hay today. That'll be nice. Hopefully, there's a bit of sunshine over in hay because it's just there's no sunshine in hay. There's no sunshine. Oh, in hay. that's all right. And there's ants in the car. And there's ants in the car. Yeah, we folded up the tarp on an ants nest. So there's been these like they're like about this big. They're pretty big friggin' ants, and their bums like almost like a bluey color, and they're like red and blue, and they're just oh terrifying. But all right, I'll check in with you guys later. Bye. And so Parks is the town that we were going to come and see the Elvis Festival in and everywhere they've just got murals of different animals as Elvis, they've got statues of Elvis, they've got streets named after Elvis, like this entire town's claim to fame is the Big Dish and the Elvis Festival. It's crazy. 
we're just talking about all the flooding and stuff and where we're gonna stay tonight because literally every road is like this just right up to the edge of the road I mean there's a bunch of algae on top of that but that's all just water there literally wow there's so much water just everywhere and we were gonna go down wow. that's crazy look how this bridge is really close to that water that's crazy we we're gonna go down a sculptural scenic route but um it was flooded 25k down the road damn that's so close um and so we didn't get to see any of the sculptures but that's all right we're on our way to hay we might be staying at bert's family friends tomorrow, tomorrow night um just so we have somewhere dry and like somewhere to shower and things like that because i don't know where we're gonna go because it's wet as hell everywhere we've got a one lane normally two lane road it's got water over it. Look at that sign there, oh my god. The tree just, it's not super deep. Like on the road it's fine, but like as soon as you take a step off the road, you'll be sinking right down into that. Um, just lucky we can see the lines through the water stuff. So. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, not super deep. And it's not raining right now, but it's not even about it raining here. It's about it raining in the places that bring the water down the river, because the river's only over there. But the water's all the way over here. You know, and all the way out there. Why are we going so slow through this? This is not how you build up a good bow way. <laughs> through like water over the road for like this kind of sections for a little time now. Like there's one back there. We've probably driven over three now. But this is the longest one so far. That just goes forever. But I mean this car's made it through. It, it doesn't look deep, it's just a case of lots of water, you know, like look at that. Oh my god. Yeah right. We're gonna let this car go first. Are there any cars waiting over the other side? I don't think so. If this car makes it, I'll make it. Yeah, I'm sure it will. The 15s aren't as good as the Forest. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Into the unknown. It's not that bad. I mean, the, <laughs> the water's all the way up next to the window. Keep solid bow away. Yeah, that's right. So, I don't know if you guys can see. Just back there, there's a roadworks truck. We just drove, we just spent, I don't know, half an hour, 40 minutes driving really slow all through all of this friggin' flooding to get turned around. It's too flooded up the road, so we have to turn around and drive all the way back. And this is one road. This has been a straight road for the past 100k or so. There's really not much else we can do, so our only choice is to go back slowly for 40 minutes through the floods. And we won't be making it to Hay tonight, but we'll find somewhere else. That over there says dry weather road only. <laughs> Look at that. That's crazy. 